It's Tuesday, March 24th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Archaeologists may have discovered the ruins of a Nazi hideout in the middle of a jungle in northern Argentina. Researchers from the University of Buenos Aires have begun an extensive investigation into a site near the border with Paraguay. They found German coins minted during World War II, part of a German-made porcelain plate, Nazi symbols, and inscriptions carved into the walls. The team decided to study the area because of an urban legend that a close aide of Adolf Hitler had lived there. It's believed the Nazis built secret shelters in remote and secluded areas for high-ranking officers who fled Germany. Some schools in Malawi's south still haven't reopened following heavy rains and flooding in January. The storms left nearly 200 people dead and another 300,000 homeless. Roads and bridges were destroyed, cutting communities off from access to food and clean water. Many government-run schools were swept away. The ones that survived the floods remained severely damaged and uninhabitable. The governor of Japan's southern island of Okinawa is blocking the construction of a new U.S. Marine base. Builders recently damaged local coral while conducting surveys. Governor Takeshi Onaga said he would have the drilling permits revoked if the defense ministry didn't immediately suspend work. The base is meant to replace Futenma Air Base, where three U.S. troops abducted and raped a 12-year-old in 1995. The construction delay could cause another diplomatic headache. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe supports the project, which the U.S. says it's pursuing to boost its presence in the Asia-Pacific region. Siberia's Lake Baikal is the world's largest freshwater lake. It provides critical water and power supplies to surrounding communities, and it's shrinking. Experts say climate change and increased use of hydropower has caused the lake's water to drop to its lowest level in 30 years. The situation is expected to worsen until late April, when the mountain snow melts and it starts to rain. Some officials warn the change is also altering the vegetation, and they say they can't predict what the consequences will be. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. We never recover all the oil. Somebody who tells you that's telling you stories. 300 and something barrels out of the pipeline in this immediate area, less than a couple of barrels actually out of the water. So pretty much what is in the water is there and going. You know, we aren't going to recover it.